what is going on guys this is Ben here and today me and my task force or my task force and I whatever you want to say is doing operation powder keg and as you can see here I got my tank medics in the loading crafts upgrading that artillery shell still and we're about to get some more power powder but yeah operation powder keg this is the hardest operation we've done because we're just consistently beating upper lip now so we're moving up there everyone's ranking up and everything like that and we got four bases here we got conveyor here, level 88. So let's check this base out. Uh, <laughs> um, looking at it first glance, it looks pretty tough. You see all those mines there? All those rocket launchers, oh. Yeah, that does not look very easy. You got a shock launcher in there, you got some boom cannons. That should be interesting. And then we got, let's check it out here. We got mercury. Mercury is a planet and this one doesn't look terrible. I mean you got some rock launchers and you got a You got quite a few boom cannons, but it looks doable and Then but I, I forgot to check these um these building statues though or the defensive building health And then we got borderline here, which doesn't look bad at all. There's some oh actually there's a shock launcher there some rocket launchers and Then we got tonnage here. It seems like we, we've been battling tonnage a lot lately and There's some shock launchers there the rocket launchers in the back but hey, it looks doable. I mean, this the, it is a step up from upper lip though, I will say that, but it, it's gonna definitely be a challenge, but we'll see how far we get, guys. So we are back, guys, and look at this. Look at powder keg, er, yeah, powder keg. It is destroyed, five attacks remaining, and this, ba er, this operation went down. To my surprise, actually, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than this. I mean, I started, or I didn't start it off this one, but we're going against Tonich here. We were all over at the beginning. We got some borderline here with the warriors. Tonich again. I accidentally attacked Tonich with my tanks when all the boom cannons were there. And they really need to fix that where you can, like, if you accidentally hit attack. Because I don't know if that happened to any of you guys. Where you accidentally hit attack and you don't want to attack. Because, like, so maybe you don't have your army made or anything like that. Or the base isn't ready for it to be attacked. I wish you could, like, hit retreat or something like that. They need to put that in there for sure. Because that's the second time that's happened to me. But, uh, I don't know, I got two, <laughs> I got two, uh, task force points, or whatever, force points, I mean. Then we got conveyor attacked again, borderline attacked by, uh, Pangla here, some borderline again, and then the kill shot here for borderline. It was actually a nice one, because we had heavies and zookas here, this one, remember, if you remember, there was all boom cannons right here, he's using all zookas, taking down that power core, so, pretty much that ends the raid there, don't really need to see the end of it. So good job by, who took that one out? What happened? Good job. And then we got another conveyor attack, Tonnage. Tonnage again goes down by Warriors. Now this one was actually really, really surprising because you can see it, I normally originally wanted to attack from the left hand side because I don't know, I just like attacking from the left hand side. But we attacked from the right hand side, took out all these power cells and um, stuff like that. Got a little, bunch of gunboat energy. Took out the shock launchers over here and this is a winning shot right here, guys. This is the winning raid. Because uh, if you see, and this is where I messed up though and dropped my tanks. I like took out like a sniper tower over here or something like that. But there's still five rocket launchers left. Flamethrowers left. And he's taking out this base. So see what happens here. He's going in the back here. He's smoking it into the back. We'll go double the speed. I thought he was going to take out the flamethrowers right here. But he makes a clutch decision here and goes for the rocket launchers. And they're gonna boom, 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 pound that one out. Boom, 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 pound that one out. Boom, 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 pound that one out. Boom, pound that one out. And boom, pound that one out. Take out these cannons. Take out that cannon, take out that cannon. And everything except for that mortar is in range. But these warriors are just too strong. Look at this, this power core is going down and boom. A little late on the boom there, but it went down. And so yeah, we beat Tonnage there. So that's two bases down. I was like, all right, we got a bunch of attacks left. The least we could do is get another base. So we're attacking Mercury here. And this is, uh, this was a, oh, never mind. We're attacking Conveyor here. And this was Sarge's plan here. I know I saw um, Boom Beach General do this, where like a clan member of his, on his base thing went around the entire Conveyor map here and went and attacked from the back here. So that's what uh, Sarge wanted us to do. So what he's going to do is use his rifleman and get around the outside here, just show us the path. And then he takes out the sniper tower and uh, flamethrower over here. So a really smart play by him. And then 
oh, where is it? Down here. And then General Phil tries it. He gets so close to taking it out. There's like a little sliver, a uh, little sliver left. And we got Pompel, Pompel Bomb here. You can see how much, how much it almost died there. But he has the Warriors. He's trying to, he's trying to kill with the gunboat. It almost goes down, almost, almost, but not quite. So now he's in a little bit of a tabacle here, and he needs to drop the Warriors to get some more gunboat energy. Maybe just get a few artillery shots, and boom, it went down. So we took a conveyor there, only a couple attacks, and that was the most scary one that I was um, scared of at first. And Mercury here, got the Rifleman, oh, we got the Ruka strategy here, we're definitely going to watch this. I love the Ruka attack strategy, so strong. So he's taking out some of the rocket launchers on the back here by Andrew. Dropped two of them. Where you, oh, he's dropping his troop from the right-hand side here. As you can tell, I really didn't look at these before. I mean, I looked at them like after they were attacked, but I kind of forgot a little bit here. Using the Ruka strategy, going from the right-hand side. Took out a few of the sniper towers, so good job by Andrew there. And with his gunboat, though, he also took out some rocket launchers. Mercury, we got some heavies and zookas going hard. And we got some more heavies and zookas, probably going from the left-hand side. So he's going on, yeah, from the left-hand side, take out some of these boom cannons and some sniper towers. The main goal. Uh, but I really wasn't on too much for this t operation because I was really busy with, like, schoolwork and stuff. So props to my task force if you're watching this video for coordinating your attacks on your own and everything like that. And listening to the, uh, what are they called? They're not, they're not, uh, co-leaders. Command, no, commanders? Yeah, commanders, I think they're called. I honestly don't know what it is to be a promoted sergeant. I'm not sure. I feel like an idiot right now. Let's let's check that out. But yeah, props to my props to my. Oh, this is making me mad. My task force officers. Props to our officers for this ready uh, for this raid or this video, this operation. <laughs> my words are getting so mixed up in my brain right now. Oh, been a long day. But yeah, so we're going with the heavy and zooka right here just to finish this base off positioning them perfectly there's only that one boom cannon to worry about using that barrage nicely weakening it weakening it and then flaring around here repositioning trying to take that trying to take out the cannon repositioning again and there we go those zookas are out of range of everything and they're pretty much going to destroy mercury here in no time at all so operation powder keg I thought it was going to be a lot harder than, or I did, I personally didn't think we were going to be, be able to beat it first try, but hey, task force pulled through, we got 114, um, and, hold on, boom, it goes down, <laughs> I'm always a little late, I don't know why, we got 114 for Mercury, and 415 force points overall, so that's a nice, we should get a nice boost for this, so I really want to say congratulations to my task force there, great job, and then I guess I could do it right here though. We get victory point reward too. Oh, definitely taking the magma shards. Always taking those shards. Because I want to get troop health. Or damage. I don't know which one I have. I have troop damage. I want troop health really bad. But let's see here. We lost a resource base. We'll, we'll watch the battle. See if we can take it out. You know. Uh, not even going to go for it. Not feeling the rocket launchers right now. Okay. There. There. Go away. Thank you. All right, so we want to go for a resource base up in the ice land. We're attacking, or scouting, ALL1 right now. Hmm. Um, we're going to attack from the left-hand side. We're going to go for it. I want those ice shards as well. <laughs> so we're going to barrage, barrage. Take out this, take out this. Maybe take out this now, take out this now. And oh, look at those line of cannons though. That could be, I didn't see that. We're not gonna attack this guy. I don't know. Uh, we'll find a new opponent here. Blue's Clues though. Blue's Clues, we had Blue's Clues on our map. Oh, this guy's got some magma chance. We're gonna go for this dude. What was his name? R Rio Reaper? Reoper? Oh, it's like a weird it's like a weird letter there. But okay, he only has he's got both of his rocket launchers up there. We're not gonna worry about them. We're gonna worry about the boom cannons now. Oh, one of his boom cannons is down. This is looking good. 
All right, let's take out the boom cannon. Oh, almost. Consolation prize will barrage the mortar, and then it'll hit the boom cannon as well. And that mortar doesn't go down either. Come on, no. Okay. He's a shock launcher, though. Hmm, I didn't see that. I did not see that one coming. I'm terrible at scouting my bases when I'm recording for some reason. Just don't pay attention, really, but okay, there we go. I guess I could have double hit, too. Could double hit here. Alright, let's roll. This base is probably actually harder than the one I was gonna attack, but I really did not like how the cannons were lined up at all. Because those, all I saw there when looking at that was like my heavies would be dropping very, very quickly. Oh, my throat though. And this is probably a really long video. I, I don't even know. I'm not really looking at the time. Having fun. Boom beaching right now. Drop the shock there. Got all five of those defenses. Pretty sweet. Those rocket launchers are kind of in play right now, but that, hey, that's okay. Just gonna stop these cannons. That's my main worry because they just chew through the, chew through the heavies as well. We got that firepower with the Zookas though. No medics needed. Not none. None right now. We're gonna stun some junk up here. Don't want these dudes dying out. Kind of want my troops to condense now. Reposition. Reposition. Now this is where the rocket launchers are going to own my Zookas. This is bad. So, oh, my Zookas are getting pounded. They're just getting railed right now. So we're, we're basically racing against rocket launchers right now. I don't think we're going to get this. Dang it! Failure. We failed, guys. Hey, I tried. Gave him my best shot. But we're gonna try again. Try one more time. I, I can't. I can't end the video like that. All confident. All cocky. Oh, we're definitely gonna win this one, guys. It looks so much easier. Can't do it. So we can get some triple hits here. And we're gonna worry about that shock launcher first. And the boom cannon all at the same time. I'm feeling better about this attack already. I'm just, I'm focusing now. We have to have redemption. And that boom cannon goes down, sweet. We're looking good now. I'm feeling 10 times better about this raid. But I just burned 90, 93 diamonds. That, that hurts a little bit. That's a lot of time spent on App Bounty right there. <laughs> and I don't know. Uh, oh well. Gotta do it for the vid. Gotta do it for the vid. Competitive side is kicking in right now. I, I, I can't wait 20 minutes to beat this guy. I gotta beat him now. He made me mad. Alright, so last time our, our heavies died out though, so we're gonna actually drop the heal spell med kit on them. So they do not die out. We're, we're keeping our shock bombs a little bit here. We're gonna try and stay more on the right hand side this time. We're not gonna get all spread out like we did last time. I guess I lied. I guess we are going to be spread out. <laughs> oh no. Reposition. Retreat. Retreat. Flare, HQ, go. Go, 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 go. Alright, that smoke was well placed. We should be good. I think. I hope we're good. No! No! Oh, I guess. 
That was so much rage, I just hit the cord on my camera. <laughs> just kidding, I cannot beat this base, guys. I don't really want to boost my statues either. But hey, we won the operation. We almost beat this guy twice. I think it was a pretty cool video, or pretty funny video, I don't know, whatever you guys want to say. But hey, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later.